The large employers would like to see this, and I tell you, it, it's simple. They want to see highly skilled workers in the community. They're a remote worker. They're fair game for a large employer or a medium employer when they're searching for talent, and they're already in, in, in town. So you've attracted and retained more college graduates, more technical skills, more experience. They may be a strong marketer, and uh, it just makes your community and our state more attractive. Now, full disclosure, because I should have said it earlier, I'm also a board member and an investor in Make My Move. And I like to, to be clear on that. So um, I believe it's a great economic development engine, um, for, certainly for the state. But, you know, we will be going beyond the state. We'll be working nationally on remote workers. Um, and here again, I, I think Mike mentioned it earlier, Mike Rutz, Bill Osterley's just been a tremendous entrepreneur for this state, always putting Indiana first. Economic development is big for me, um, as I mentioned earlier, and, uh, and that's why I in invested in Make My Move and devote time as a uh, uh, board member. But I invest in a number of Indiana uh, companies. I operate, own and operate for myself, and I invest in Indiana companies. Doesn't mean I won't invest in non-Indiana companies, but I have not so far. And I'm, I'm here for Indiana, to grow Indiana, my home state. Not my home city, my home state. From the Ohio River up to the Michigan border, Illinois border to the Ohio border. We can win. Remote workers is the new game and we have all the tools to win. And if there's a tool missing in the toolbox, let's get together, go to the governor, the general assembly, and say here's some other things that we need. But they really armed us well. The ready grants to improve placemaking, those are tremendous as well. And so I, I think we have all the tools we need. Make my move and that team, Mike Rutz, Bill Osterley, and all of the uh, Evan Hawk, Jackie Carpenter, Anon, Jackie Anon that you see around here. There's Ryan standing there, uh, Ben Lido, um, the, the Make My Move, Catherine, I don't know if she's here today. Uh, we have Many others from, from Make My Move, Ed Sherman's here. So make sure you get an opportunity to meet them as well. But uh, uh, let's win together. Let's really do it. Let's make remote workers, make Indiana known for remote workers. USA Today has been writing about Make My Move and many others. CNBC, when they think of remote workers, they think of Make My Move. And I want them to think of Indiana. Man, Indiana's really winning there. The governor was in Davos because the governor's done a lot of good in terms of talent attraction, place making, uh, and they want to hear about it in, in, in Davos and, uh, and around the world. And uh, so uh, I'm glad to see the turnout was so strong today, not just the number of people, but the talent that's in this room uh, that working together, we, we can really, really make a difference. So again, enough from me. Uh, I want the closing remarks to come from Mike Rutz. Mike, you have any remarks you'd like to make? Uh, okay, well then, uh, then should I adjourn or should we have a question or two? No, thanks everybody for coming. You know, I mean, um, for us, this, we put this event together when we went to work to try and get legislation to help the local communities that we've been talking to, you know, I mean, it was a lot of the communities said, we would love to do this. We're having trouble finding funding, you know, 
So we went to the drawing board to help figure out, okay, how can we help local communities do that? So, you know, getting the legislation passed, then it was like, oh gosh, we need to tell people about it. And there needs to be like a how-to manual. It doesn't just come easily. So we hope you guys actually benefited from the program um, and got a lot of information. We would love to work with you. We care about the state. We think this is a once in a generation opportunity. I'm deadly serious. There's 19 million that are gonna move in the next three years. You know, even if that's off by a couple million, that's a lot of millions. I think we can get thousands of them to the state. I truly believe that. And the fun part for me has been, you know, going into these communities and sort of discovering the magic that I didn't realize was there. And even to some degree, the communities, you know, asking them to look inward and figure out what's great about your community. Why would anyone wanna live there? Asking those questions and hearing those answers and then turning it into new residents. That's really fun, and it's great for the community. It's great for the state. So uh, we hope you guys uh, learned a lot today. I myself did, and uh, we look forward to talking to you and working with you. One, one more person I'd like to, to, to give an opportunity to make a closing comment, if he'd like, Adam Barry from the uh, Indiana Chamber. Adam, you have uh, any closing remarks you'd like to make? Okay. All right. Well, then we are adjourned. Thanks a lot for your time. Bye-bye.